lot of people gathered today to pledge to make summer fun and summer reading part of the same agenda at the KSL Family Book Festival. Dede Wimmer shows how superheroes brought the two together. Perfect. Superheroes posing, hugging, dancing, and even staring up from the sidewalk chalk art urged kids at the KSL Family Book Festival to become better readers. That message is telling us that reading is important and it and it gives us knowledge. Wow, what do these guys think? Is that a high five or what? <laughs> I'm going to read a lot of books and go to water parks. The superheroes of reading, along with a candy buffet, helped persuade kids to pledge to keep reading even though schools ended. Organizers from KSL's Read Today initiative aren't just targeting the under 12 group. They know it will take a Herculean effort from parents. I hope that parents understand that it starts with them, and as long as they're gung-ho about reading, then their kids will be. The day's cliff notes? $1,000 in candy, 3,000 book bags, countless stunting jumps. These kids aren't the only one. Parents and teachers would jump for joy if an event like this could keep kids reading all summer. To ensure that happens, Discover Books and the United Way donated and stuffed each book bag with books for kids to take home. Now kids are enthused and equipped. To see so many people here supporting it, it's kind of, you're not alone. Not alone for sure with this virtual legion of super readers. Dini Wimmer, KSL 5 News. Little Cinderella was my favorite. Read Today just launched a new website. You can track your summer reading online at readtoday.com. That thousand bucks worth of candy is a pretty good deal, too. Uh, candy buffet, hello. Yeah, hello. <laughs> Perfect day for that little event today.